Max back with another video. In today's video, I tell suggest is what if Naruto had the Tensei Gone Part 2. And the like goal for this video is going to be 500 likes. So make sure to like, share the video to a friend who likes what ifs, or just anime content in general. Comment down below your thoughts and feelings about the video, as well as what are suggestions. Solely Naruto based, if that is possible. Subscribe as I want to hit 5k by June and 10k by in the end of the year. And also a quick disclaimer, if you are under 18, and especially if you are under 13, please click off of the video, and or if you are sensitive to certain topics, as my videos aren't targeted towards impressionable children like 8 year olds, and they were actually never were. And with that being said, I am not responsible for your actions. And a quick recap. We left off with Naruto activating his Tensegon, and we can now get into the video. Danzo would bring his sword down onto Naruto, as a chakra armor would shield Naruto, and for the sake of this what if, the Tensegon will have the six paths abilities, as well as a chakra armor, truth seeking orbs, what the Byakugan allows you to do, so striking chakra points and seeing them as it is an evolution of the eye and the ability to split the moon in half of the condensed laser-like weapon. In canon, Toneri was shown to be able to use this ability with the Tensegon, so no reason Naruto wouldn't be able to. Naruto would then break from the shackles he was in, walking towards Danto, who started to violently cut into Naruto's body. Naruto would then unsheath his own blade, stabbing his blade through Donzo's heart as he jumped back. Donzo would then undo his arm seal as he used Izanagi to completely rewrite reality, with Naruto telling Donzo that it doesn't matter what he does because he will kill him. Naruto would then use universal pull on Donzo's eyes, pulling him out of, well, I guess you could call it a socket. They would then flow into a massive jar of Naruto's that had water in it, as the eyes would then go into it, shutting it closed. As Naruto would then put the jar into his windbreaker, which the jar, if you're not well, aware, contains Donzo's Sharingan. Donzo, you were a fool to even attempt to kill me. You, you were on the verge of death just minutes ago, Donzo would say. Naruto would then give Donzo his own eye back. The eye that he was born with, that is. Donzo, I'll let you see the person who killed you before your demise. You know, seeing your face go from hopeful to despair. Well, there's nothing that makes me happier. Now die! Naruto would say this as he brung down his sword, cutting Donzo in half. You sick old man. Naruto would utter this under his breath. Several Ambu would step in Naruto's way as he left the building. And without a moment's notice, Naruto would cut through them. And all of them with ease, making sure not to kill any, but to still be able to keep them paralyzed for about a day. Naruto would then go to the Hokage's office, telling Haruzen everything. Haruzen would understand disbanding Root as he thanked Naruto for coming to him. Naruto would then cry in Haruzen's arms. No, thank you, Naruto would say. As he fell asleep from the strain on his body. Four years would then pass with Naruto developing many of his own jutsu and fighting techniques, as well as honing the skills he already had and mastering the Nine Tails Chakra to the Sixth Tail at most, which in the Sixth Tail state would basically make Naruto go a bit berserk, but Four Tails is what he's able to easily maintain. With the leeway of Haruzen, Naruto would be put on Team 7, and in this timeline, Mizuki never comes to Naruto, and instead to Sasuke, who is driven on gaining more strength, seeing, seeing somebody who, well, surpassed him outright in the academy, that being Naruto Uzumaki, it would make Sasuke realize that he was, well, too far behind, and he needed to speed up his goal of catching up to Itachi. Sasuke, while still in the scroll, would realize that he was being used, and in that short time frame, with the help of his Sharingan, he would activate the Chidori, which, well, should be in the seal of scrolling, as it is in a rank jutsu. As well as copying down a few other ninjutsu. Sasuke would then use the Chidori on Mizuki, taking his life in an instant, as well as saving Aruka by extension. He would then be put on Team 7 with Naruto and Sakura, and now the bell test. <laughs>
Naruto and Sasuke after being explained the rules would leap at Kakashi while Sakura sat on the ground watching the battle ensue. Naruto would then tell Sasuke to sit back. He's only slowing him down. Sasuke would grit his teeth. Slowing me down, you say? We'll see about that. Chidori! Sasuke would yell this as an Azur lightning would appear in Sasuke's hands. The Chidori would then fluctuate like a vibrant whirlpool. I'll show you just who's slow. Sasuke would then activate his Sharingan, speeding ahead of Naruto, who would amp his own speed to its max, matching Sasuke's in terms of speed. Even Naruto would see his speed increase. It was a bit surprising to him, but he was happy that in that short moment, Sasuke was able to get an amp fit enough to rival his own wits. Naruto would then copy the hand seals of the Chidori with his Sharingan, which, if you aren't aware, Donzo had implanted into his eye for his first mission. A congratulations of sorts. But the thing is, it doesn't matter what jutsu you have if I can copy it, Naruto would remark. Sasuke would grit his teeth. How did he get my jutsu? Sasuke thought to himself, asking Naruto. Naruto would then say that you could call it a kekegenkai, that he can do one time per jutsu. This was Naruto bluffing in the case of a future fight with the Uchiha, because as we know, the Sharingan doesn't have a limit of the jutsu that you can copy, even if it is one soul jutsu. Sasuke would then appear in front of Kakashi, with Naruto grabbing his hand as he threw him into a tree. What? Was that for? Sasuke would exclaim, with Naruto telling Sasuke that Kakashi said to grab the bells, not to kill him, nor did he say fight with the intent to kill, which that jutsu would have done with minimal ease. It's studyable. After all, I have used it. Sasuke would then look to Naruto's arm, seeing Michidori. Oh yeah, you have it for a bit. I forgot about that. Kakashi would then say that they can come at him as if they wanted to kill. Naruto would then smirk. The Tensegon in its purest form, in the Sharingan in its vermilion, glowish state, would be dormant in each of Naruto's eyes. Uchiha Sasuke, just stay out of my way. I'll show you what an Ambu can do. An Ambu? Kakashi thought to himself. Well, this may be interesting. Naruto would then deactivate the Chidori in his hands, sighing as he reached into his windbreaker, pulling out his Ambu mask. In this form, I'm unstoppable. Naruto would then fit on his Ambu mask. He had entered a sort of trance. Naruto would then be seen by Sasuke in a different light. Naruto was different. Kakashi would catch on to this too. Naruto's demeanor had changed. He had become more formal and bloodlusted, etc. Naruto would then see his own eyes fused with the Kibi's chakra becoming slit like. As it had been perfectly flowing through his body, he would then unsheath his blade. Naruto would clash with Kakashi, mocking him each time their blades clashed. Naruto would then dig in his claws into Kakashi and pierce his spleen. Kakashi would be shocked at how ruthless Naruto had become. Naruto would then kick an injured Kakashi away. You wanted me to go for the kill, so be it! And also, if you've made it this far, make sure to subscribe. 100 divine blows! Naruto would yell this as he blitzed around Kakashi, slicing his body many times over. You see, once hit with this attack, it's over! Now, five chakra nature's jutsu! Naruto would then launch his attack as Kakashi would use the Chidori to block the incoming onslaught of jutsu. Kakashi would then tell Naruto that he was strong, but not strong enough, running towards Naruto, Chidori in hand. Sasuke would match this Chidori, both pulling off the attack as they realized they had the same jutsu. Naruto would then curse Sasuke as he had it under control. Why did he step in? The Chidori wouldn't have been able to kill him. But maybe, just maybe, it was human decency, Naruto thought to himself. Naruto and Sasuke would then tell Sakura to occupy him with a kunai. Sakura would then do this with Kakashi telling Team 7 that he had seen enough. They pass. 
they had displayed teamwork in a reasonable manner, and with them asking Sakura for help, even if it may only be to occupy him for a short moment with a few kunai, or even a single kunai, that, that right there was teamwork. They would all then go home, with Sakura going to bed and Kakashi doing the same. Naruto would then go home and do some late night training, but unexpected by Naruto, Sasuke had followed him in quick pursuit, noticing his admiral skill and usage of the Chidori. Sasuke would then approach Naruto. Stop right there. Naruto would be off guarded, telling Sasuke that he was in his personal training ground. Would he like to spar? Sasuke would shake his head. I'll best you in combat, even better than a spar. Naruto would then tell Sasuke that he has no other choice to accept, but I'll make it quick. Naruto would then activate his Sharingan and Tensigon in tandem. The power behind these eyes are more than enough to defeat the likes of you. Sasuke would then ask Naruto how he obtained his Sharingan. In anger, as he looked to the ground, Naruto would then say that the way he obtained the eyes is not important. The way he's going to defeat him with them is. Sasuke would then leap at Naruto, activating the Chidori for the third time today. Exhausted, Sasuke had noticed that soon enough he'll run out of chakra. Naruto would then sit still as Sasuke slammed his Chidori into Naruto's chest. Naruto would then grab the blade lodged inside of his chest. You know, if it's one thing I hate, it's when people like you ruin my mood. And to be honest, you're an Uchiha, so I shall not hold back. Naruto would then grab Sasuke's hand, breaking it, and putting it back into place, and breaking it again. In the process that he had done, he would then throw Sasuke away. Sasuke would scream out in pain as Naruto stabbed his spleen. Sasuke would then grab the wound, with Naruto appearing behind the young Uchiha, picking him up by his neck and looking into his eyes with the vermilion glow of the Sharingan and the Azar glow of the Tensegon. His eyes would then widen, placing Sasuke under a Genjutsu and making him pass out. Naruto would then walk over and out of the village, running closer to the sand's border, as he would then decide to enter the village, turning around as the streets were empty. Orochimaru at this point had been watching Naruto. Naruto would then walk away, seeing nobody in the streets to talk to, nobody to see, and basically nothing to be there for, just an adventure of sorts, if you will, would walk back to the leaf. Orochimaru would then see Naruto's hair, blonde as ever, thinking back to his former Sanin teammate, Tsunade, and would also see his leaf headband, thinking that he may have relation to Tsunade and sending five sound ninja towards him and two sand ninja under his thumb and or control. They would all then attack Naruto, who in an instant of sensing their presence would dodge, not wishing to stir out conflict in a foreign village. These ninja would keep up their press, forcing Naruto to fight back. It had seemed that dodging wasn't enough, activating his Tensegon cloak as he he would within mere seconds kill all of them with a perplexual attack which propelled them all far away from Naruto. This attack was known to Naruto as Almighty Push. This attack was able to intrigue Orochimaru who would jump into the fight. Naruto would then grab Orochimaru using Almighty Push to send Orochimaru into a tree located beyond the sand's borders. Naruto would then approach Orochimaru stepping past the sand's gate. Fist now encased with the vermilion aura of the QB dormant within Naruto's body. Orochimaru would then summon a giant snake, going even further to test Naruto's wits and strength, as he asked Naruto if he was related to Tsunade. Naruto would shake his head, saying that his lineage comes from the Uzumaki and the Hyuga clan. Hmm, so you're Minato's boy. Interesting. I'll have to test your wits. Naruto would then say that he has no idea who Minato is, but either way, if he is my father, then I'll live up to his name in battle. As Naruto said this, he would stab his blade into the snake that Naruto, or Orochimaru, had summoned, doing minimal damage to it as it shook him off of his head. 
I think that you were trying to test my wits before, Naruto would say, as the truth-seeking orbs provided by the Tensigon would then turn into a weapon. Slicing the snake in half. You're next. And may I ask your name? <laughs> my name is Orochimaru, the legendary snake Sanin. And you? My name is Naruto Uzumaki. I don't really have a title in this world, at least not yet. But most people know me and have probably heard of me, the Jinjuriki of the Nine Tails. Naruto would then leap at Orochimaru, true seeking, true seeking weapon still in hand as he cut Orochimaru in half. Naruto would then take over Kimamaro's body, or Orochimaru would. Orochimaru has been shown to be able to do this to prolong his life, and Kimamaru having an undying, I guess you could call it, affection and loyalty towards Orochimaru would give up his body in an instant, even though he was sick. Kabuto would give Orochimaru drugs to prolong Kimamaru's body for the next fight that he knew he would do, or would partake in. Naruto would then venture back to the leaf, crashing to the floor as he approached the gate, covered in snake blood, head to toe. Naruto would then wake up in a hospital bed. It had seemed that the gate guards had found him. Naruto would then stand, leaping out of the window and doing several D-rank missions. Surprisingly, Sasuke with his broken hand and Sakura had been doing D-rank missions as well, as Sakura showing an extreme grudge against Naruto for wounding Sasuke. Sasuke wouldn't really mind Naruto, besides him not understanding why he could possess the Sharingan. Sasuke wasn't even mad about him breaking his own arm, or his hand to be exact. He was only mad at his Sharingan. He thought to himself, why would he be mad at Naruto breaking one of his limbs? He was the one who challenged Naruto, and Naruto said that he'd make it quick. He wasted the boy's time, but one thing he couldn't wrap his hand head around was, why, why? Why could Naruto, Naruto Uzumaki of all people, have a Sharingan? Naruto would then start to get bored of these simple D-rank missions, asking the third Okage for a C-rank mission. Haruzen would see it fit that they get a mission that is around their skill level, giving them a C-rank mission. Team 7 would then venture out on this mission in a month's time. Kabuto, being a sound ninja within the leaf at this time, disguised as a leaf ninja, would give Orochimaru the intel of Team 7 preparing for this mission. Orochimaru himself would then venture out of the land of waves, not recognizable as he had taken over the body of Kimamaro. Kaguya, and more specifically, the bridge builder. He would then put the bridge builder under a genjutsu with Taguya at his side. Getting the intel that Gato had prevented Tazuna from making this great bridge that he had aspired to make so that his, well, village could get out of poverty. The poverty that it had foreseen itself in. He would then see two men in the Gato's army, if you will, who intrigued him, those being Zabuza Momochi and Haku Yuki. He would then beat Gato in an inch of his life, taking Haku and Zabuza and training them with the Sound 5, making a plan to basically ambush Team 7. Zabuza wouldn't mind giving his life up for Orochimaru as he started to get used to the Snake Sonny's presence. Basically, they made a deal like... All of the other Sound 5 members, which was to accomplish their goals, which Orochimaru would do for them, killing the Mizukage, but he hasn't done that yet. And Haku being basically Zabuza's, I guess you could call it, best companion, would just go along with it, as Zabuza is like a father figure to him. Team 7 would then make their way towards the Land of Waves, as they would easily dispatch of the Demon Brothers. It had also seemed that Naruto had been training with Sasuke heavily, making him have a 3 Tamali Sharingan in one eye and a 2 Tamali Sharingan in the other eye. Sarada has been shown to be able to have a 2 in 1 Tamali Sharingan and a 3 in 2 Tamali Sharingan, so this is possible if you were wondering. They defeat to the Demon Brothers like in Ken, the difference being that Naruto was never scared of the Demon Brothers whatsoever. 
their appearance, nor Kakashi's fake death, feeling barely any connection to the Jonin besides a hierarchy role to surpass, and due to his upbringing with Donzo, it had become hard for Naruto at times to even fathom feelings of joy with other people or love, but at the end of the day, he was still able to bring out the feelings of caringness for his comrades, and now his best friend Sasuke Uchiha. Team 7 would then approach Zabaza and Haku, who at this point had both received curse marks and had joined the Sound 5, becoming the Sound 7 officially, and being much stronger than their can canon counterparts, as Naruto and Sasuke would then initiate combat with the duo as the rest of the Sound 7 and Orochimaru watched for the perfect time to engage, as well as gauge the worth of Sasuke Uchiha the survivor of the massacre. Orochimaru himself had testified Naruto's power, and with that being said, this was what if Naruto <clears throat> had the Tenseigon part 2, and the like goal for this video is going to be 500 likes to get another part fall closely behind this one, so make sure to like, share the video to a friend who likes what is, or just anime content in general. I have a what if plan for April Fools, April 1st, it is a very nice what if that I hope you guys are gonna enjoy, and uh... Comment your thoughts and feelings down below, and even some word of suggestions solely Naruto based. Subscribe as I want to hit 5k by June and 10k by the end of the year. And as always, Rami X loves you all, and Rami X out.